Hi guys, my name is Will Donovan and I'm here with you today because of ClayKing.com and Speedball um, talking to you about how to use screen printing, underglazes, clay and incorporating them all into your work as a ceramic artist. That the emulsion by itself is bright blue but when you take the sensitizer it's going to tint that into a mild green. You can mix this a couple different ways. We're going to start by shaking again. Once the emulsion's been mixed, you're going to take it and apply it along the screen and then using a squeegee, bring it up. We're going to try to get an even thin layer across the front and back of your screen. Okay, once we're ready to expose our prints, we're gonna get our workstation set up before we uh, get things in place. So I'll show you a bit of what you need. Uh, first, you're gonna need your transparency uh, with your design on it, some black construction paper to cover the ground in which you're gonna lay your screen, uh, a sheet of glass, or some tape will work just fine. This will secure the transparency in place on the screen so that it doesn't ripple or bubble in places. Um, and you'll need your lamp kit included in the speedball uh, screen printing kit and we're gonna set this up for the size of screen in your kit you're going to need a lamp elevation of about 18 inches and we're going to need to expose for about 10 minutes so I'm gonna go grab the screen uh, from the darkroom closet and we're gonna place the transparency on top turn the lamp on and expose Once you have your design laid out on the screen, place your glass over it, and using the height and time requirements listed on your kit's instructions, begin exposing your screen. So we'll check back on this in about 10 minutes. All right guys, so once we have our screen exposed, we're gonna clean off the emulsion until we have a nice, crisp image that you can readily see through. Underneath the screen, we're going to roll out a slab of clay, roughly the size and shape of your screen, and using the mounting kit included in your kit, you're going to secure the screen onto the hinges, and we're gonna roll this slab of clay directly underneath it. Make sure you can feel clay under every part of the screen. I can, so we're good. Now, it comes time for printing. Now, today we're going to be using Speedball underglazes, which are not only great for this process because Speedball has been in the printing industry for years and years and years, but also they make their underglazes at the right consistency that you don't need to add a medium to your underglaze before you can pour it on the screen and print. These are ready to go right out of the bottle. So today we're using Royal Blue and we're gonna pour some on this screen. Now the way to do this is first you, when you pour it on, make sure it's well shaken up. I reminded myself. We're gonna pour on a generous amount at the top of the screen right here. And then using the squeegee enclosed in your kit, we're gonna first tip the screen up and load it, and then we're gonna apply the pressure. All right, once the gaps are all filled, go ahead and lay your screen down. And then using a generous amount of pressure, pull it to. If your squeegee doesn't cover the entire length of your clay, you can make a couple passes. Okay. 
set this aside. Gently raise your screen up. All went according to plan. Your design should now be well stenciled on your slab of clay. And hey, hey, what a day. It's a good idea to have your slab of clay on um, cardboard paper, a sheet of canvas, or some other form of material so you can readily get it out from underneath your screen. But look at this. So I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna move the camera a little closer so you can get a better look. So you can go over and inspect your print once it comes out, but I think the lines are pretty crisp and even. Now the possibilities of this are endless. So what I plan on doing for this piece is I'm going to use about half of it for tiles. So I'll just cut this out and um, cut these into about four inch tiles. And for the other half, I'm going to impress into some molds. Okay, so once you have um, once you have your screen printed, you can divvy up that slab of clay however you'd like. So here I've cut out some four inch tiles, make some nice coasters. Um, and out of that slab I was able to get two, and also some forms that I'm going to press into some molds. Um, here we have uh, just some upholstery foam, soundproofing foam, whatever works, just as long as it's probably uh, two inches thick or so. Um, and GR Pottery Forms, great, handy, useful press molds, slump molds, anything of the sort. So what we're going to do is we have our printed portion um, of slab, and we're going to take the, uh, the GR Pottery Form, we're just going to press right down into it. And the foam will act as a resist, you can actually press into this pretty hard, and uh, using your fingers come in and kind of push it up. round form. Okay. Okay. Ta-da. And there you have it. Guys, I just want to say thanks so much for tuning in to this demo to find a little bit more about screen printing and how you can use it in your ceramic studio. We're really excited that we can offer this kit. Um, thank you so much for Speedball for sponsoring this and making this sale this week possible. In case you guys forgot, ClayKing.com is having a 40% off underglaze sale throughout the entire month of August, getting you back into the school, getting you back in the routine of making to make that easier for you. So check that out. Uh, follow the link in our Instagram bio page, um, which will lead you to the underglazes, the screen printing kit, and also bats. So if you have any questions, feel free to message in, comment, let us know what you thought, and thanks so much.